Hey Aries, welcome to the Cosmic Jackal Tarot. I am your dream girl Mirage. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to your Gemini season reading. One of these days I'm gonna just when I do that, there's gonna be like a little title sequence. I'm gonna try to get that done for y'all. But hey, how are you doing? It's still Aries season at the time that I am recording this, and it is now Easter as of today. So happy Easter for those of you who celebrate. Please excuse my nephew, I don't know what he's on about, but like, I'm gonna just try to pump this reading out and I feel like he's gonna get fussy for like a while, so after that, this reading should be up in the next hour. Well, I just have two announcements, and the first one is I did actually take that cruise job despite my last reading saying that I wasn't going to, but I'm really happy I did. I got to see Seattle and Los Angeles for the very first time in my entire life. <laughs> I've never been on the West Coast, but it was... A very much needed trip away from everything in Florida and I'm really grateful for that opportunity what was that? anyways that's that being said the last announcement I have is I am actually starting a dessert shop I wish my nephew would stop acting an ass because I'm literally trying to record but um, yes I I'm selling cookies for right now and if you guys are interested there will be a link in my all my links to just kind of check that out. Uh, I don't want to really spoil everything that I'm doing, but if you guys are interested and maybe you want to support that in the near future, hey, there's a link for it. Now, let's hop into your reading. We're going to do your Moonology Manifestation. Now is the time to cleanse. I feel like some of you really need to sage your home and take into account what it is you want to let go of. We are still technically in Aries season, like I said, Aries, so... Don't feel like I'm skipping you again. I've already done Taurus and now we're in Gemini. So if you're watching this now in Aries season, it must be said, I feel like you've got to cleanse sage and like really clean your energy. Like old things you don't use, whether that's skincare, makeup, clothes, food, you know, condiments, like whatever is just kind of taking up space, get rid of it. Cause like you're overdue for things to come in, but it's like, there's so much clutter. You, you, there's no openness for that. So you have last quarter moon in Gemini, clear your mind. What a time to be alive. Look at that, coming in where we need it. As I was just saying, you need to cleanse something, right? So last quarter moon, you were reaching the end of this. For some of you, you are understanding that. Um, Maybe the clutter you got to clean out is within your own mind for some of you, but it starts with cleansing your space, then your friend circle, then things around your job, like admitting to yourself that something makes you feel kind of stuck. You're not very happy, but there's room for improvement. So in this time, especially during Gemini season, you may be called to do some, I don't want to say spring training, maybe like summer no, training, what? Spring training. Yeah. The Yankee season. I live not that far from the Yankee Stadium, but um, spring cleaning, summer cleaning. I don't know why, I just had a vision of someone sitting out on a porch and eating watermelon with their kids or kids in general. It could be like, if they're not your kids, it could be like younger members in your family. So we're gonna pull a card from the Mermaid Tarot deck to do the overall reading or the overall energy for this reading, excuse me. And you have the King of Swords in reverse. Don't lack honesty within yourself. Or some of you could be with a older air sign or maybe you have a father figure that's an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone talks about you a lot, but in a negative way. Maybe not in like a way that is like physically harmful. Like I don't think they mean you any like physical ill will, but I feel like there's someone that watches you and they always have something negative to say, which that negativity spreads and you can literally feel it in your own energy. This might be something you have to like dive into a little bit more and understand like why is it that you keep putting up with that or why do you allow people to say things about you or if you're not aware of it why did the people around you allow this specific person to talk about you because like I feel like it's something that's going through the grapevine and you may find out that someone is talking about you spying on you 
or keeping tabs on you. It's like they have a lot of negative energy to put out, but it's, again, it's weird. It's like, it's just disapprovement. It's not necessarily that they don't like you or anything like that. I just feel like they, they don't like how you live. I don't know. It's awkward. We're going to do the past, present, and future with the Tarot of the Divine real quick. The more I look at that card, the more I'm like, yeah, it just, it just really feels like someone, even when they look at you, they're like, ugh, Aries. And you're like, ugh, what? You know, kind of over people, like, just, like, if you don't have anything nice to say, keep it moving. Like, I don't have nothing to do. I, I can't take negative talk. Like, if there's something I need to work on, tell me. If there's something that I'm not doing right, tell me. If there's something that... It makes you feel some type of way, tell me. But that whole holding it in and then like waiting until you go into another room to discuss things with other people, those other people aren't doing what I'm doing, are they? Like, you know, so, yeah, just, I feel your aggression. And I, I'm feeling it too. I'm just like, who is messing with my Aries? Like, nobody asked you a goddamn thing. Chill. All right, so in your past, you have the Emperor. Currently, you have the High Priestess. And then last, you have the Six of Swords. These dogs on the other side, they're like two buildings over. They are such haters. Like when I was doing a reading for Libra, they were going off. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, be quiet. <laughs> All right. So the Emperor is Aries or Taurus energy. It's also a strong male figure who is fine doing what he wants. He has the power to conjure whatever he says into the physical a master manipulator if you will he's not emotionally available other than the only person he is emotionally available for is his empress his counterpart everybody else if you will have you seen the emperor's new groove this is basically Cusco. he ain't worried about y'all you serve him he makes it to where he okay i guess your presence is tolerable without you i mean who would i charge for taxes this is your energy right here that's your past. You felt really powerful once upon a time. Or you were with someone that made you feel that way for my feminines. Like, they would literally go and they... And I could pick fruit off the tree for my empress. But you know what I'll do instead? I will uproot the entire tree and put it in her backyard. Because that's how much I value that woman. Anyone who has a problem with it... Hey, they, they, they can... They, they can... They can... Uh, you know what? They can kick rocks with their fucking flip flops on. I don't care. Um... And, you know, you vibe with that. This high priestess energy tells me that you are settling very well where you are. You're very in tune to the energies around you. This is also Pisces energy. Sorry for my niece making all that noise. I don't know what's going on out there. But um, you're settling. She's reading a good book, but she's also aware that somebody is watching her. There's something magnetic about you at this time, Pis uh, Pisces. <laughs> Maybe there is a Pisces that's admiring you or you're admiring a Pisces. It's possible. But what I'm seeing is someone sitting in their divine feminine energy and they are allowing people to come to them. They know they're admirable, but there's still this humbleness where they're like, oh, are you looking at me? It's like you're being kind of flirty at this time, Aries, and that's totally okay. Like a lot of people are admiring you, sending you love notes. You could be celebrating your birthday right now. Again, I know we're doing for Gemini season, but... It is still airy season. So if it is your birthday, happy birthday. And to my best friend, Eva, because I know you're going to watch this. Happy birthday, baby. Mwah. Her birthday is tomorrow, the day after Easter. So last is the Six of Swords. Mm, some of you want to move into calmer waters in the future. I don't know what stirred this, but I feel like you guys, if it's not so much that you're trying to leave permanently, I feel like some of you need a vacation, a staycation. Sorry, I have messages. Anyways, but yeah, um, oh, you know, what? like, look, there's a little baby there, they're selling away with their kid, possibly. Some of you just might want to take your kids if you have them, and you just, remember I said earlier I had a vision of somebody eating watermelon on a porch, like, I feel like in the summer, or during Gemini season, some of you may just want to do a staycation or an actual vacation where you just get out. If it's not that you have kids coming with you, you could have your pets. It could be somebody younger. Like, it could be somebody that you're dating and they might be younger than you or a younger friend. Not, 
in like the questionable legal sort of way, but just like maybe they might be a year or two years, few months, something like that, younger than you. Or you find that you have like a a more mature presence about you because I'm I'm older than my my Aries friend, but I go to her for a lot of advice because, well, I mean, as a Pisces, we are the youngest in the Zodiac, so sometimes we're not quite sure about stuff. And when the mask comes off, I'm like, hey, I trust you. Can you tell me more about like what I'm seeing here? And she'll be honest. So we're gonna clarify this with the Spellcasters Tarot deck. All right, um, that's two, I need one more. Oh shoot, okay. That's too much going on. Hold on. I need one more spirit. It's a lot of cards. Let me get one more for Aries, please, at this time. That's two spirit. I need one more. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so in your past, you had the Three of Cups in reverse. No, not in reverse. I'm sorry. You had the Three of Cups over the Emperor. Currently, you have the Three of Pentacles over the High Priestess. And then currently, you have the Seven of Swords over the Six of Swords. Wow. You have a lot of increments of three. You got two threes, a six. The Emperor is number four. Um... The High Priestess is 11. 11, 11 might be uh, significant for some of y'all on an angel number. This could be the winning lottery numbers. I say go and, and play them. Hey, let's see. So, three, three, seven, four, 11, 11, or two, and six. Yeah. All right, so three of cups over the emperor yeah you guys were coming into a union being celebrated maybe you have a third in your relationship perhaps if you're okay with that this might not be that it could be you and like a best friend or like a parent from your side of the family or their side of the family i feel like some of y'all have been proposed to that's a possibility there's a union and a celebration with this emperor here like I said, it could be somebody from your side or their side that's like coming in to like be more uplifting, just show their praise and admiration for their connection that you have. And three of pinnacles over the high priestess. People are coming to you for advice. It could be financial advice, but I feel like when they do that, you do get an increase in pay. Like you could be someone that is an advisor. You could be someone that's a consultant or like an assistant, but someone is willing to pay you for your expertise. Even if you feel like what you're giving, you're, it's like an everyday sort of thing. Like, yeah, if you're looking for nail polish, it's on aisle three, but this person like is literally, or maybe it's not a person, people in general, they're trying to reward you for your generosity. And you might be thinking like, I didn't really do anything, but maybe it's just your generosity is your kindness. Like not making it seem like it's a chore to help somebody out and people can really recognize that energy where it's not a big deal to you you're willing to help either way right okay next you have the seven of swords over the six of swords so i feel like this vacation is you taking a break from people being sneaky around you and maybe you've picked up on it i feel like despite people coming in to show you praise and admiration there is someone or something out in the in the wilderness i want to say that's looking to sneak and betray you could be like a really close friend it could be a family member it could be a co-worker like someone doesn't want you to get as much praise even though they know you deserve it it's like someone remember i told you this air sign here is like disapproving it's like this is the same energy with the swords aquarius gemini libra like someone is coming in and they they're taking something from you, but it's when you least expect it or when you're the least amount of aware. Like, if you are being celebrated, they could be right at your celebration. Like, probably, you know, like putting a fingernail in your cake or like trying to tell the boss, like, hey, you know, I know they're getting a promotion, but you might want to check the cameras. Like, I'm pretty sure that person stole my Lunchables out of the fridge. Like, this person is a hater, all right? Like, they're naysaying and whatnot. Like, 
but it's like the shit they do towards you aries it's just so childish that you're like okay like there's no real loss there's no you know no shit on your skin it's it's more so like you acknowledge this person is that way and now you don't deal with them anymore it just saves everybody a headache right so yeah just just beware of that is what i want to say but that has been your reading if it happened to resonate make sure to like share subscribe comment down below give that community community tab some love if it didn't resonate that's totally okay maybe this is just meant for another aries or somebody with aries in their chart but we believe in free will so if it feels like it's not sticking that's that's all right you're not cinderella don't force that shoe to fit if you would like to follow me on other forms of social media, my all my links is in the description box below. So give that a, a, a look, a follow, all that. Yeah, you can actually use it to be aware of what I'm doing in my everyday life. <sighs> but last, what I want to say, when well, my nephew is nutting up, that's why I'm trying to hurry up this reading. I want to thank you guys so, so much for coming in and showing me that love and support on this channel, as always. I know this hasn't been like the easiest time and it's kind of like in the amateur stages, but I swear it when you guys aren't looking, I'm trying to come up with new ways to make this an enjoyable thing so that we can all share the platform and get personal. Why not? Now, if you do enjoy my readings and everything, like I said, you already know how to show that support. Now, if this is where we part ways and you don't come back, all right, well, I wish you well on your journey. But for those who do plan to come back and I will see you in another video, vlog, another reading, I just want to say thank you so much for all that love and support. I'm so close to getting 200 subscribers. So let's see if I can get it before I head back on my next mission. All right. I love you guys. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.